and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have not done a haul for a while, so I thought I would do one this week, because this week is a very exciting week in the life of a blogger slash teacher. It's National Stationery Week. Yes, there is nothing better than a fresh new pad or cracking a nice new pen if you're a little bit of a stationery geek like me. So I've been sent some goodies, which I will show you, and I've also been buying some stuff recently, and I will show you that as well. So first of all, I thought I would start off with some new notepads that I've bought. This little beauty, which I've already um, actually been writing in, is from Bocos, and it's like a little camera range, and there's a little bit you um, can write at the top. Also, it comes with a whole range of like selfie stuff so we've got like a little plastic folder this is two pound and this is one pound and often in Wilco's they do three for two so you could buy more than one I bought my um blogging wife taming twins this is well, a little gift so that's from Wilco's another beautiful pad also in purple it's a bit of a, a theme is um a pad from the brand new I don't know if it's NU or new so it's kind of a leather effect and then it's just pretty much clear so you could write little notes in it or if you're thinking about I don't know writing some blog posts or maybe you would like to start writing a book which would be quite exciting you could write all your notes in here and it's quite posh it's quite heavy though I wouldn't probably carry that around in my handbag I'd probably leave that in the house but that's beautiful and then moving on to some pens and I think we'll start with some posh pens so I've been sent a couple from now I cannot pronounce this so it will be wrong I'm going to say Schaefer or Schaefer or just dead posh pens in nice boxes. So this one here is, I think it's bronze. So that's a nice posh pen. Uh, it's a roller ball. They're both roller balls actually. One is silver and one is bronze. And these are quite nice to have in your bag so you could be like, he, you know, getting out a pen. Oh, would you like to borrow my pen? Yeah, look how posh I am. Or more than likely these will be kept on a very high shelf in my office in a pen pot so no children can ever grab them you buy refills so it's like a pen you'd have for life and there's a warranty with it which makes it super posh when you get it you get um, a roller ball with it which i didn't know so when i got it sent in the post i was like oh my god who's sending an empty pen through the post what kind of moron would do that and then it was because i'm not posh enough to realize that, that it was underneath so there's some dead posh pens, some Schaefer, Schaefer, whatever, lovely. Nice little presents as well. And then we'll move on to some kind of more cheap pens that I will probably have at school. I teach a group of girls, Health and Social Care for BTEC. Hello if you're watching. And they like bright pens and I actually gave them some of these at Christmas. I got sent these in the post but I bought some. I These kind of leopard skin. I bought them leopard skin with brown brown pin print as little rewards so i've got pink purple and a um aqua kind of green nice summery leopard print one and that is from the brand sarasa and they're called zebra evidently it's a rapid dry and they're gel pen lots of different colors so that's good at school we have to mark in purple so that is the one that will definitely be going to school and these are probably kept at home in, in my little office as well also, I've just noticed that they're good for left-handers because I think they've got a grip on. So that's really useful because we have quite a lot of left-hand pupils at school. So I shall be taking them with me. Well, and then I bought some bits and bobs that aren't necessarily stationary, but they're going to be used to hold stationary. See what I did there? So we're going to be doing a little bit of interior soon, throughout the whole house. We've done our garden and we're going to be doing each room individually. So I've been gathering stuff and this is for the playroom. It's from one of my all-time favourite um, brands, Sass and Bell, which I love. They've got a big shop in Covent Garden and it's this week at school and it's got little pegs. My daughter literally brings home approximately 10 pictures a day. So I can then go, oh, that's lovely. That's really nice that is let me just put it on here and we'll put it in the playroom and then at the end of the week we'll go well, well, well we'll just file these now in the bin and then we'll get rid of them but it's somewhere nice to store them rather than just floating around um something else i got to store in tk maxx they sell a lot of emma bridgewater stuff and that's quite pricey if you buy it full price but there it is there's a lot of money off so i've bought a few folders this says really well organised, and on the front it says file and tidy, 
and inside really well organized it's a nice big folder so i'll probably use that either at work or i will use it to keep exciting things like bills in but i just thought it was really nice it looks really cute as well i bought the address book in the range and i bought some wrapping paper all from tk max really really nice something else that i got um, I went to the paper chase sale. I am obsessed with paper chase, and I just show you one of the things I got, which was three pound. But I think I might have got it for a pound or one pound fifty. It's like a little stamp set. If you can have a little look, it's a little stamp set, and it's thank you, a good day. Um, also says for you. So if you send a little card in the post. Just do a little stamp on it. it just looks really cute so i bought that and i've also bought a few because they were quite cheap I bought a few for presents so if you get one of these as a present forget the fact that i said it was cheap it was full price and then finally two more goodies that i was sent in the post one i'm actually going to do a demonstration i got a staple less stapler have you ever heard what is the world coming to? A stapler, stapler. And now, a little story. Many years ago at, at school, there was a boy that actually stapled his forehead in a lesson such as the genius of secondary school children. So this will obviously be very helpful. So here's some paper. Actually, this is from a pad. I don't know if you can see it's got speech bubbles on. Oh, that's it. That's from a pad from our Ikea. At the Ikea station, range. it range is amazing. So you can do it to six sheets. So we ready? That's the official staple face. And then it like keeps it all together. Look at that. But there's no staples! Oh, what is the world coming to next? There'll be wheelless cars and and footless horses. I couldn't I can't think of any examples, but there you go. That's it. And then the last thing, I'm not gonna open it because it's my little girl. Um, so I'm gonna keep it nice and clean so I can give it as a bit of a bribe. But this is from Mayped. So this is another thing I was sent in the post as being um, a National Stationery Blogger, National Stationery Week Blogger. And it's just one of those lovely little things that's got all felts in it. It's got um, a sharpener, rubber, pen set crayons. And then obviously if you're a bit bigger, it's got like protractors, which my girl won't, won't need. They will just be either snapped in half or chewed by my dog. But that's gonna be a little present for her. So I, I will get that out when she's been particularly good. Um, so there we go. That's some of the bits and bobs that I've been sent and some other bits of stationery stuff to make your mouth dribble if you love a bit of stationery. I hope you've enjoyed this haul. Um, like and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And I will see you very soon. Have a good week. Bye-bye.